Hi, and welcome to The Blacklist, the show where we delve into the best in black entertainment. In this series, we'll be exploring the world of black cinema, what made it so revolutionary, and the 10 films you should be watching. First up is the 80s, or as I like to call it, the Spike Lee and Eddie Murphy era. Babylon, the story of Blue and his Itel Lion sound system group in pre-gentrified 1980s Brixton, London. With music composed by Brian Boval, who also stars in the movie, the film provides an accurate depiction of black British culture in the 80s. The film is centred on their friendships, relationships, family and financial struggles, as well as their inherited love for reggae music. And most importantly, their fight to reject oppression, social and systemic racism. Do you have any better ideas? Yeah, you know, it occurs to me that the best way you hurt rich people is by turning them into poor people. Step into the Eddie Murphy era. Yes! Trade in Places was Eddie Murphy's second starring role and one that helped cement his success in Hollywood. Upper class commodities broker Louis Winthorpe III, played by Dan Aykroyd, and poor street hustler Billy Ray Valentine, played by Murphy, literally trade places in a bet set by Winthorpe's bosses. The film is not without its racial stereotypes, but correctly tries to paint a picture of what it was like in 80s America. And it's really funny too. For a man who claims to be on vacation, you look a lot like you're on a stakeout. Stakeout? No, no. I'm picnicking. This is like a picnic area. Eddie Murphy stars as Axel Foley in this American buddy cop action comedy. Hard-nosed Detroit cop Foley heads to Beverly Hills under the guise of a vacation to investigate the murder of his childhood friend. He's quickly drawn into the different culture of Beverly Hills with all the odds and native cops stacked against him. The movie makes for a great detective story, complete with bad guys, an unsolved mystery and a motivational hero. Beverly Hills Cop is a hilarious classic that showcases some of Murphy's best work. I said, hell. No, it's so fair, no! Adapted from Alice Walker's Pulitzer Prize winning book, The Colour Purple stars an incredible Whoopi Goldberg in her breakout performance as C.D. Harris, who survives sexual and physical abuse at the hands of her father and later her husband. Spending her married days isolated and in desperate need of love, companionship and to find her long lost sister Nettie, Celie overcomes trauma, loss and abuse to find herself in this emotional story about self-empowerment. Some people call me a freak. I hate that word. I don't believe in it. Better yet, I don't believe in labels. But what are you going to do? Spike Lee's breakout comedy and his directorial debut explores the romantic relationships of Nola Darling, played by DeWanda Wise, who decides to date three totally different men. Shot largely in black and white, the movie bursts into colour in one of the best dance scenes in movie history, as one of Nola Suter's serenades her for her birthday surprise. Good morning, my neighbours! Hey, fuck you! Yes! Yes! Fuck you too! Next up is Eddie Murphy in probably one of his most famous ever roles. This time, he's the royal heir to the throne of Zamunda, Prince Akeem and travels to America along with his trusted aide Semi, played by Arsenio Hall. The duo go in search of finding an independent woman who loves Akeem for who he is and not his social status. With an incredible cast including James L. Jones, My son works! Madge Sinclair, and a cameo by Samuel L. Jackson, this movie has cemented itself as one of the most watched, must watch black movies. Don't you ever worry about that, cause I don't mind being don't try it. Another Spike Lee joint, the director returns with the 1988 classic School Days. Lawrence Fishburne, Tisha Campbell, Giancarlo Esposito and Samuel L. Jackson are just some of the many familiar faces about black students in America making a stand against apartheid in South Africa. One of the most notable parts of the film is the Madame Rerez dance scene which highlights the issues of colorism faced back then and is still relevant today. You can't stand it. Hey, hey no, Sal, I'm gonna burn up on a wall here. 
Do the Right Thing, which was inspired by and dedicated to the family of elderly woman Eleanor Bumpers, who was gunned down by police in her home, and Michael Griffith, who was killed in a racially motivated attack in Queens. Director, writer and producer Spike Lee stars as Mookie, a pizza delivery guy for Sal's Pizzeria, who fused with his boss Sal, played by Danny Aiello, over his refusal to put up pictures of black celebrities in his restaurant. Do The Right Things cast also features Rosie Perez as Tina, who we see in an incredible opening dance credit scene. You I ain't afraid of going up against Smalls or Calhoun. That's because you're young. <laughs> Come on! Not one, but two black comedy greats star in this crime comedy drama set in 1930s gangster Harlem. Sugar Ray, played by Pryor, and his adopted son Quick, played by Murphy, run Club Sugar Ray, a nightclub with dancing and gambling in the front and a brothel out back. The film is a comedy classic and offers a hilarious performance by Pryor and Murphy alike. Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency and my word is law. Morgan Freeman stars as Joe Clark, a former teacher at Eastside High, whose unconventional teaching tactics leads him to be hired as the high school principal in order to transform the failing school in New Jersey. Based on a true story, the film won the NAACP Award for Outstanding Motion Picture, while Freeman won the NAACP Award for Best Lead Actor in a Movie for his portrayal of Joe Clark. And there it is, our 10 picks for the movies you should watch from the 80s. Join us next week as we explore the 90s. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.